Hey, what's up, guys? This is Fiddle Cubes here, and uh, in this video, I will be starting sort of a new series, branching off the 2048 series, having to do with the GUI. You know, adding in the main menu, the leaderboards, a, f a much better saving system that keeps track of your best scores and saves a current game to a file, so you can X out and then reload the game from the file. I am about to give you a demonstration, and why don't we go ahead and do this? In this folder, I created the executable jar file from it and if we run it you'll see that immediately multiple files will create a scores file and a temp file the scores file keeps track of um, your scores right here so tiles and times times are all set to the slowest by default the scores are here and the tiles are here and just in case if you can't hear the music and it's loud I'm just gonna turn that off All right. There is clicking sound effects for the buttons if you didn't hear that before. Um, so yeah, this temp file right here is what's gonna store your current game. So it's gonna store your it's gonna store your score, and it's gonna store your um, your time. And while the scores file is for the leaderboards. So anyways, if I were to go to play, everything is just as it always is. Everything's running, running, running. Let's say I wanted to just take a break here. All I have to do is every two seconds it saves, X out of that, reload it back up, double click it. And when it's done loading, you'll see that it loads right back in, the time is paused, all the scores are the same, and then the time resumes. And there you go, you can play it. Now let's say you were to lose the game. All right, so let me just lose the game here. Bit of a derpy game over screen, but <laughs> I tried my best as a at a fade sort of in transition. Uh, I didn't really accomplish it very well, but I will be showing you how to make the GUI system. I'm not gonna. I never promised that it was gonna be a good GUI. Like I never promised that it was gonna look nice. Now here on the screen, you have three options. You can go ahead and try again, which will spawn a new game. Or if you tried to cheat death and you X out of this and you were to try to reload it, hoping that the game didn't save, all that's going to happen is that it's going to load back up, play, they're going to spawn in, game over. Anyways, let's say you wanted to show your friends, you go ahead and hit screenshot. And there it goes, it creates a screenshot of just the board, not the game over screen which you can send to your friends or you can re-screenshot with like Gaiazzo and just give them the link. Back to main menu, go to scores, you see that you now have a new top score, new top tile, but the times did not update. The times only update if you win the game because the times um, are relative to your winning. Anyways, try again, your best score saves, uh, time resets, and it starts resaving to that file. So that's uh, the demonstration of the game. Now I'll give a brief overview of how the code is going to look. So I don't actually need this anymore. I've planned it out in this xmine file. These are some other code. This is all my coding projects, but I've kind of zoomed in on just the 2048 extension. So the GUI is going to consist of mostly these three elements here. The GUI screen, the GUI panel, and the GUI button. If you've ever used a uh, swing in Java for GUI stuff, you know that... A uh, GUI panel is going to look very much like a J panel, and a GUI button is going to look like a J button. And the GUI screen is going to act like a J panel with a card layout. Uh, card, I meant to say card layout here. Let me just card layout. A card layout is basically saying which which panel has focus. And then once you hit a button, once you hit the play button, you now say, okay, now I'm going to give my focus and pass all the click events to the play uh, the play uh, panel and same thing with the leaderboards panel so this will also distribute all the mouse events the GUI panel will hold the components like all the but all the GUI buttons and if you were to make uh, other uh, components like if you wanted to make a scroll bar or check boxes or whatever you could add those in and add and then it can just extend GUI component well whatever anyways GUI button here this will just be a simple rectangle, you know, click box. It'll have three different colors, as you saw, for hovering, dragging, and clicking. And it'll have action listeners so that it can fire an action event on a click. 
And then these are just the different panels. So this menu panel will extend GUI panel. And it's going to have the high scores button, the play button, and the quit button. The play panel will ha will actually control all the drawing of the text. So we're going to move that out of the gri of the game board file. And it will also control the losing screen. And then the high score files would be like this. And the sound, we already did this. But there will be sound for the clicking on the in the GUI. Anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanted to give a brief introduction to the start of this series and I wanted to get a video out because I hadn't posted in like a week. So, yep. If you guys uh like to see more, want to be uh, you know, notified when new videos come out, go ahead and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.